Fireworks explode in the hands of a 14-year-old boy in Spencer County. Tonight, he's at Cosair Children's Hospital recovering. WLKY's Ann Bowden joins us live with more. And Well, Vicki, I spoke to the teen's father on the phone today, and he told me his son was having fun with friends Wednesday night. Unbeknownst to him, they brought fireworks that exploded, changing his son's life forever. I heard a big, loud boom. Didn't sound like any gun I'd ever heard. For neighbors on this rural road in Spencer County who live acres apart, this noise was so loud it shook their homes and brought them outside. 22s, uh, the judge, I've heard all kinds of guns shot off around here. Never have I heard one that loud. And then another terrifying noise screams. Then I saw a bunch of little kids, look like boys, running, screaming. Help me, help me, and some of them had their hands on top of their head, screaming. What neighbors would soon learn is that the explosion came from a device those boys had been playing with. It was a uh, factory made, it was like a mortar shell uh, firework. A damaged mortar firework that exploded when the 14 year old tried to ignite it. According to the teen's father, the device was brought by friends who told his son it was a smoke bomb. The explosion severely injured parts of the boy's hands. And it was pretty bad, so we started rendering first aid there on the scene. Um, immediately, a decision was made pretty immediate that we needed to get a, an air ambulance en route to uh, pick them up and, and transport them to the hospital. Traffic was stopped as a medical helicopter landed on State Road 55. Neighbors saw the urgency in every responder. They've got a fire department out here, EMS is out here, all kinds of, and you could see the lights everywhere. And um, she said, they're running. She said, this is giving me goosebumps, they're running. The 14-year-old was flown to Cosair Children's Hospital, where he underwent immediate surgery, a harrowing night that officials say brings a sobering lesson. It's some, it's some kids playing, trying to have a good time. And, and unfortunately, there was a mistake made that uh, this child will have to, to live with the rest of their life. Now, LMPD's bomb squad had to detonate two other devices found where the boys were playing. The 14-year-old is in fair condition at Cosair, and his father says despite his severe injuries, he's in good spirits. The family wants to thank all of the first responders who acted so quickly and his son's school, who has surrounded the family with prayers. Ann Bowden, WLKY News. Thank you, Ann.